Wave Listen To Me Volume 8 Review. Please note that this review contains spoilers for Volume 8 of Wave Listen To Me. Wave Listen To Me is a series by mangaka Hiroyaki Sawara which centuries on Minari Koda, an almost 30 year old woman struggling with her personal issues and frustrations, who happens upon circumstances which lead to her becoming a popular radio personality. When we left, Volume 7, Minari and Misoho were working to help a listener with her shut in brother's personal problems. Robbing Hiromi, who is currently occupying Minari's apartment, announcing to his mother, thanks to some blackmail techniques, the trio are interrupted in their schemes. However, as an earthquake hit strikes Hokkaido, knocking out power all over the island, leaving our characters to face the darkness. Misoho and Minari make their way to Moi Yama Radio Station, or MRS, as lead director Mato has a job for Minari to handle. A special broadcast of Wave, which will run non-stop until morning. Though Minari is skeptical, Mato explains that by running the show that it will help them calm people's fears and concerns about the earthquake and its after effects. Miso is left in charge of mixing for the emergency broadcast. Another step forward in her radio career is the two are left to do their thing. Listeners call in with their appreciation and acknowledgement of Minari's responses and taste for copying with the situation. Her resourcefulness and juggling series and playful showcases growth, both as a character and radio personality effectively, in the spirit of hospitality and helping those in need. Following the broadcast of Wave and the appearance of his younger daughter and ex-wife, Mato is inspired to open the doors of MRS to mothers and their children. In a similar vein, employees of Voyager Nakahara and manager Takarada intends to test the damage of the restaurant and decide to make the best of the situation to open up a soup kitchen for those without food. This ties into a shut-in dilemma, but the previous volume Junichi is put to work, helping out the proves to be a hard worker. The spikes is an inch of protest and threats for Minari. This inspires him to move forward a theme for the characters in this volume as he decided to find a proper job, I'll be with a rather questionable motive which I won't spoil here, and his family makes plans to move out, inspiring some rare independence. Tajibana also decides to move on for staying in Nakahara's apartment and her big break as a comedy writer for HACB Radio finally comes around. I'm curious to see what lies in store for the pair moving forward, as a relationship of some potential, if handled well. The volume concludes on a slightly quieter note than before, with Minari giving the advice of a pair of teen listeners trying to understand each other better and also meeting a glass trader Otaku who is not only a big admirer but is also a former radio production company head, making a second season pro and prime guest to feature a wave. It would be interesting to see how this new personality affects Minari and her gradual rise during the ranks as a radio host. Translation for Wave Listen to Me has once again been carried out by Adam Hirsch, whose work on the series so far has been very solid, especially when included translation notes and bonus character employment application blur for Minari. Overall, Volume 8 has a difficult task for resolving the very real situation of an earthquake and its effects on the small island satisfyingly and think it delivers. Will was also showcasing how key characters, both main and supporting, are moving forward in their professional and personal lives. 8 over 10.